Hi, I'm Susie. I've got a great idea for a gorgeous design, but I thought it'd be more fun to do it on a model rather than myself. Take a look. That's what I'm going to create today. Let's get started. So when I did Laura's nails last, this is my model today, Laura. Hi. We did a coffin. Today I'm going to transform them from a coffin to a stiletto for this special design. The reason why I'm going for stiletto is because the design that I'm doing is a little stocking with some lace and a little bow. A lot of hand painting. We could do it on a coffin, but it doesn't really lend to the long look of the leg. That's why I really want to extend these out and make a stiletto. So I've already buffed them. They're ready to go. We don't need primer or anything like that. We are different, stuck in a small town, haven't left just yet. Got bigger dreams so I'm just going to stiletto all of these out. Scoop it with this nice little scoop. this. Ooh, these are sharp. They are weapons. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to put this color on, number 067. Now because we are doing a significant amount of this nail will be covered with the design. This doesn't have to be flawlessly picture perfect. Nuke those. So we've got the foundation of the stilettos with the gel nude colored on top, gel polish. And now I've got a collection of tools. I never know what paintbrush tip I'm gonna want until I'm in the moment. So I collect them all and have them right on the table ready to go. So these are going to be stockings with a little bit of a lace top. You know this top part of a stocking, there's a bit of lace and then a little bow to tie it all together. But when you do the stocking part, you need a see-through stocking. And to make that, you need clear nail polish. I'm just going to use this. You can use any clear gel. You can do this with polish, but I'm working with gel, so I want everything to be gel. And I'm going to put it on this ceramic disc that I have. I'm going to put a bunch of it there. I could do this in a bottle, but I really don't want to wreck my whole bottle for one design. So I don't know how much I'm going to be using this. I'm using this gel paint, this stuff is really great. I'm just gonna put a dot, just a dot, and then I'm gonna mix it. Now these are both gels. Can't do this with nail polish so much. I'm just gonna mix it together. It might be a tiny bit heavier than what I want. I'm just gonna add a little bit more of this. Mix it together. That might be a bit better. And I'm going to use this brush. I'm taking off all the gel paint. And I'm going to get this all in there. And I'm going to paint my see-through black stocking on this nail. I'm going to do it about here. Now 
I've got enough here. I thought I was going to have to do one nail at a time, but I think I've got enough. I can do all of them. See, sometimes I get carried away and I go too high. I think that's too high. I want to do quite a lace band on the top part, so if I go too high, I'm going to lose my kind of French simulation of the stocking. I'm going to clean this off though. Clean off your, because I do want to use it and I want it to be completely clear when I put the top coat on it. I want it to be completely clear. But I'm going to clean up this. I'm pretty much happy with that. Now among this collection of brushes that I have, I'm going to use this one. This is by Ugly Duckling and it's called the Striper. And the reason being is I'm going to dip, oops. So I'm going to dip it into the gel paint. Now this is a stripey brush, so I am making literally a stripe with it and I'll just practice it on my ceramic. Get my brush nice and saturated. Okay, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to draw, now this does not have to be totally straight because it's the back of a leg of a stocking. This is like from the 20s and 30s, right? A very old fashioned stocking. So it doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, you don't want it to be perfect. I'm just going to clean this off. I don't know if I'm going to use this one so much anymore, but this is perfect for those long lines. I've tried to do it with a shorter brush, like say this one. But when you're doing a long line, unless you're super steady hand, you really do want that long brush. It gives you a much more longer line. It just works a lot better. Okay, now I'm going to be using the black, so I'm going to keep my black out. And this is where I'm going to paint the top part of the lace. I'm gonna try this little one. This is Petite Macaroon. This is a Max Estrada brush. And I'm going to dip it in there, get it nice and saturated with paint. as tiny as I want. I'm going to try this one too. This one is called the Stripey. It might be a little tinier. I think that's what I want. So I'm going to get it all saturated now. So this is just the stocking. So you can, you know, whatever you see is stocking lace on the inside there to be. This is a nice tiny brush. Really great for this kind of detail. You could use this with a calligraphy pen too. It's always my favorite go-to, but I wanted to use this all with gel. Then I'm going to do the top of the stocking. You really may not need to do this extra part. Just trying to get a bit of a lacy appeal. 
Okay, nuke that one and I'll work on one finger and then I can go ahead and do the rest once I show you how to do the one finger. So now the bows, I'm gonna put a little bow. You know how sometimes those fancy stockings, they have a little bow on the back, really fancy. So I did measure out my color. I'm gonna do red on the thumb and then pink because it kind of like a color spectrum, pink. And then I was gonna go into blue, purple, and green. So this finger is purple, I believe. You can see the, these things become such a mess. Look at the black one when I took it completely off. See how much a mess it is? So sometimes I like to keep the silver thing on it and just have a little area where you can access your color. You gotta give it a little stir sometimes. And if it's easier, you could bring it out and put it on here, but I'm just gonna dip it in. So I'm just putting my purple bow. Because this is such a strong pigment, you can really see the bow color. And it really even covers the black quite well. Get the dangly parts of the bow. Now, if you're going to layer this with some dimension, you want to nuke it in between. So just make sure you got all the purple where you want it. Okay, give that a nuke, Laura. And I'm kind of a freak about cleaning gel in between, so. I probably don't have to clean the brush at this point, but I'm just going to. I don't know. I get a little goopy on there and I just don't want it goopy. Gel is very hard to keep everything neat and clean when you're working with gel. It just has a mind of its own. It just wants to get everywhere, but it's a brilliant medium to work with because it's so pliable and so easy to work with. You can't get this fine a detail with acrylic. Okay, now because I want to put a little dimension there, I'm gonna add a little bit more I think it's probably fresh enough, but just to be sure, I'm gonna get a little black on there. Clean that dotting tool or I'll have it everywhere. Okay, so I'm gonna get a little bit of purple on my ceramic there, see that? And I'm gonna mix just to give it a bit of a deeper purple cause some shadows and low lights to define that bow. No, I could use black. It's a little harsh, I think. I don't think I want it quite that deep. Okay, so I'm gonna get a little bit. And now I'm just defining. dotting tool so I just want little dots I'm just gonna press oh you know what I'm gonna put it inside here Let's see if it looks good isn't this cute okay so oh so I don't gunk it because I'll bump into it and I'll just gunk it <laughs> so now I'm just gonna go ahead and just be creative and paint the rest of them.
exciting part. Top coating, it makes it all look so smooth and flawless and seamless. Let's check out the reveal shots. I'm excited about these ones. I love hand painting it when I can, but honestly, this takes some time. So if you and your client have the time, you can. But if you don't want to hand paint it, then you could stamp this. You just get a lacy stamp and a bow. And as Laura suggested, you could get one of those little bow gems. We've done those before. So there's all sorts of renditions you can get out of this, but I love them. They turned out beautiful. That's great. Well, thank you for joining me in this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.